in the field of corporate governance, one of the key issues which we are seeing as emerging trend is the growing importance of sustainability, as we call it ESG, which is environment, social, social and governance. This area is gathering greater importance, uh, not just around the world, also within India. Uh, so it is very imperative that uh, the board of directors, the senior management and the entire team of a company focus on sustainability. Sustainability, if you look at the historical perspective, started with what we call as SRI, which is Social Responsible Investing, Socially Responsible. And it was started way back in 1758 for those who are interested in history. During Quaker Philadelphia annual meeting in that year, they said that their members would no longer deal with uh, entities which do slave trade and thus began the whole element of what was socially responsible. Further, SRI in US took hold in mid 1900s when, when investors avoided uh, investing in sin stocks as they called them, the stocks which dealt with uh, alcohol, tobacco or gambling. Then in 1950s, in fact, Pioneer established a first fund which, which was first one to be established on SRI principles. Going forward, 1960, the Vietnam War further cemented the importance of social responsible investing when the students in various universities demanded the university endowments do not invest in uh, entities which have defense contractors. And over a period of time, several incidents, mostly disasters, have cemented the importance of uh, issues of ESG. Things like uh, Bhopal, gas tra tragedy, Chernobyl nuclear, nuclear uh, disaster, Exxon Valdez oil spill, fundamentally put the focus on sustainability. More recently, the adoption of UN SDG goals in 2000 created a direct linkage between business and mainstreaming of sustainability and importance of ESG performance. There have been several voices to the contrary. You would all know about the Ford versus Dodge case, wherein Michigan Supreme Court held that Ford operated its company in the interest of shareholders rather than for the benefit of employees or customers. In fact, Milton Friedman in 1970 wrote an important article where he said the social responsibility of business is to increase profit. Despite all this, I think the movement and the momentum towards sustainability as one of the key factors for companies' long-term value creation has become central and is going to remain central for a long, long time and will be a key aspect which board has to deal with. The incidents like Gulf oil spill on B of BP, 737 MAX failures which impacted Boeing and several other incidents around the world have actually brought uh, into focus that sustainability is at the very center of what we call as financial viability of a business itself. India has been at the forefront of making this change. In fact, uh, we, in terms of legislation, have been very forward-looking. The 2% of profit to be set aside for CSR was an important act of parliament which has brought to the center the role of society in being socially responsible. However, this area of ESG needs greater attention by board, by management, and I think it will only be important that we sort of uh, spread awareness around this amongst investors so that the investors also pool in their funds to invest in companies which uh, are more sustainable. As a company, what we have done, we have a board uh, a committee on ESG, uh, which is called the Sustainability Committee. And that committee looks at the overall elements of how we are moving in terms of E and S. Governance, of course, is looked at through our nomination and remuneration committee, which is uh, uh, entrusted with all the uh, governance issues. What we've done as a management team is to integrate ESG and strategy. So sustainability function is now integrated centrally with strategy so that all the capital and the commitments which we need to make in terms of direction of company are central. And then we are looking at execution of strategy. So the key elements in terms of execution of strategy, in terms of environment, as far as Tata Chemicals is concerned, we are looking at climate action, and within that, we are committed to science-based targets. So by 2030, we are going to be reducing carbon footprint by 28%. In addition to that, we are looking at circularity. Increasingly, each part of our business is looking at circularity at the center of it. And this leads to conservation of water, conservation of resources, and very importantly, the fact that we are able to do more with less. 
And lastly, biodiversity. And this is an area we are very, very uh, engaged with, especially with the marine ecosystem. If you look at our whale shark project and our biodiversity park, and these are all important steps we have undertaken to uh, look at biodiversity in a holistic manner. And in fact, with a special focus on marine ecosystem, which is so central to our strategy. In terms of uh, social, I think what we've done is uh, uh, work with our uh, teams to engage with uh, impacted communities into looking at uh, several elements, including essential facilities, which is looking at whether they have access to uh, basic water and sanitation. Secondly, looking at employment itself. Also focusing on employability, which means that we provide them the skills and training. In addition to that, we also look at education as one of the key focus. We've got a program called Barthe Kadam, which has been one of the important programs where we look at girl-child education, especially taking them right through graduation. And this has been impacting uh, what, what I would call the affirmative action, the uh, disadvantaged groups in terms of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. So holistically, we are looking at uh, uh, impacting the society through our social uh, programs as well as through our environment programs in such a way that it is fully integrated with strategy of the company and company is able to sort of embark on this uh, in, with, with a holistic approach which is supported by board and supported by all the shareholders. So in the end, I would just say that sustainability as a core component of company's long-term value creation is now central, is now very important and must form a key component of our governance process.